Okay, Fredster here again. Uh, today we are taking apart a Samsung all-in-one PC. This model number is uh, the DP700A73D. <clears throat> this is a 27-inch uh, all-in-one PC and you may want to take the back off to replace the uh, existing one terabyte 5400 RPM hard drive for a uh, 7200 RPM hard drive, which is what I'm going to do, or you may want to clone it. So, I've already taken off the stand as you can see here. That's secured by six screws here, 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 here. They come out very easily, and then this whole back panel is loose. You also have to unscrew a screw here, which is holding the optical drive in. Oh, by the way, make sure you put the whole panel on something very soft and flat so you don't damage the screen. So, uh, the first thing that I did was remove all those screws I've just showed you. Then, this panel here comes loose. Now, at first I thought you had to un take off all these uh, connectors, which you don't, to get the back off. What you do is you lift it up move it to one side like this and that reveals a further four screws here one two three four okay so those come out but the good news is that you only need to take those four out in order to get this panel loose so that this panel here the main panel can just detach from this panel here this panel here does not move you don't have to take this off to get the pack panel off so First thing we're going to do is, we're going to take off the screws here, I've already done so. This one here for the optical drive, this one here under here, and another one over here. Plus I've also taken the memory uh, cover off. So the first thing we do, this screw is removed. That allows you to remove the Blu-ray drive. That reveals a further two screws here one, two, which must be removed uh, without breaking it. So, I started by getting a credit card, jamming it in the side here and just wedging it in. Like most things these days, it's held together by clips, which you can pull gently and wedge under like so. And what I found at this point when I got to here, is that this section here is not connected to this section here which is good because you don't have to touch these brackets so you wedge it up and then eventually it cracks up now this one is loose already because I've done it before but this shows you what you need to do so I'll put this back here and then this panel eventually and I would do it this side back because on this side over here there's a flap and there are no screws here, but it needs to move, the panel needs to move to up and to the right. So, this one's coming off easy, as I just worked my way around this side here with a card, which clicks, but you do have to give it a little bit of force. Around the bottom here, this part comes up, which is this panel here, by wedging it in between these two sections here. And you can hear it come up, and it's loose, so I'm going to lift it up. And then, eventually, it comes off like so. Which reveals the hard drive here, which is a standard SATA hard drive. Um, that's about it. I think that's all we're going to say for this today. Uh, enjoy and subscribe if you uh, think it's useful. Thank you very much.